Yeah. Love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace. The compass of the Lord has come, so let us rejoice and be glad. O oh, people of love, from all religions or none, try to understand that our, our Lord is wanting to give many blessings unto everyone who loves him enough to be passionately diligent in their quest for his absolute truth whom he himself most assuredly is. Love is he now and evermore. That is why the book says that his people should seek ye first in his lofty eternal kingdom of love so all other heavens and blessings might be added unto them. So let all truths of praise shine as some celestial beings of remarkability as the truest truths of incredibility also shines now upon the Lord God's word of worship. So praise the Lord for all messengers of love, for it is now the season when the Lord wants all people to quit making gods of their own prophets and simply awake to the truth that seers from all of the religions have all had some excellent epiphanies of love and of truth and offering some insights. Uh, take what's good and leave what's bad, but quit being critical and judgmental, says the Lord. For the trueness of uh, faith uh, has no criticism and uh, has no uh, hatred, subtle racism as the world has. So it's time that uh, now will arise a celebrated judge of the sinful hearts, Shiloh predicted in Genesis 49, 12, the bringer of the vision of God of Habakkuk, am I, Joshua of Zechariah 3, water, steam, and ice. I am the latter-day Daniel, and they are all the same, just as Isa, Yeshua, and Jesus are all the same, Christ the Lord. So praise the Lord, water, steam, and ice are the same, and mercury is mercury no matter how many pieces it may be, and, and it goes back and it is still mercury. So too is the trinity of one, the multiplicity of Elohim, the singularity of many. And it's time to realize that all minds need to understand that uh, it's time to stand and st time to be courageous and let all those with minds to understand realize that satanic spirits left over after Satan's removal of Daniel 12, 1 of his hatred and subtle racism based on religiosity, which is a factory for subtle hatred in this world, for all people to oppose revelation knowledge of love. And uh, so it's praise God that even the Hindus have not been too far from the truth, that negativity only reincarnates more of the same, just as evil can only bring forth some shameful forms of wickedness that always celebrates all perversions that tears down love. Even Buddha, the number one resurrection prophet who foretold every single mark on the resurrected Christ, even he clearly saw that if the opposition of anger ceased, only then could the opposite flow as a secession of malice is finally revealed as an absence of all real or imagined animosity that's cursing us, all of mankind. But that oriental prophet also correctly saw that only when someone comes to the point of imagining the purest kind of tranquility, only then could they finally bring themselves to the point of personal abandonment. Only then could they find themselves never needing any punctuation within their thoughts because they continually shall transcend by their love their very own being to the point where redundancy starts screaming out the gospel, everlasting gospel truth, that faith only always comes by hearing the word of God and for the clarity of his proclamations always goes forth to accomplish exactly what it is he has said he would do. 
So, oh God, if I worship you in, in fear of hell, please burn me in hell. And if I worship you in, in the hope of paradise, please exclude me, exclude me from paradise. But if I worship you for your very own sake, withhold not your everlasting beauty from me and from all those walking in the spirit of love. For to be one with you for but a moment is far better than all of man's acts of worship from the beginning of creation until the very end of the world. So let all those shining as the sun now understand that, that the fear of being separated from our beloved's presence of love is like beholding the mightiest ocean of doubt, but the fear of ending up in hell's hottest fire by people committing the unforgivable sin of letting their love to wax totally cold. To them, it is but like a drop of water for even the biggest waves of darkness people. And we must understand by love that it is true, that even that could never lick our faces. For he who is our self-subsisting -subsist one is the utter perfection of astonishment, kissing our brows as we slumber under his smile of love. In these days of Elijah, may the peace of God therefore be upon all of his servants of love, and may his high praises be truly a source of truest delight, and may the beloved Messiah of the Lord God, whose pillow is the most glorious firmament, now rejoice unendingly as he prepares to return, Emmanuel, our God, with us again soon, in order to separate all the wheat from the tares, and to separate all those who shall be destroyed for their lack of knowledge of love, for there has never been any more gross darkness than love alone. And praise God that he can turn it around. His hand is not too short that it cannot save. He can do all that he says he can and more. And for unto the wise who have hands to receive uh, what that producer of prosperity sends to them, they shall be glad. So, all oh, faithful souls of the world, if you be wise and intelligent, don't make the sad choice of those who are happy in their ignorance, as they look not to the truth of these words at this Kingdom Age channel, since they shall choose the ways of the blind as they give alms unto themselves as rewards for their disobedience unto our loving God who is being snubbed by them and ignored at this channel where his brightest light of passion is. For they care not really that he is the pre-existing source and cause, nor do they care if he's the bestower of health. They want their crooked uh, argumentation filled religion that is nothing but a headache and something that is already dead upon planet earth. So look unto him who is the well-wisher, for it is he who desires all free-thinking souls to make the choice of seeing that he wants them to behold love in motion so that they would come unto him. So it's time to even love our enemies, but dart away from the ignorant as if they were an arrow, uh, and mix not with them like sugar and milk. And if the wise have a dragon for a friend in a cave, even that would be far better than sticking around ignorant associates, uh, for no one in the world can end up being so despicable as the ignorant of love, for there is nothing more worthless than ignorance. The end of all ignorant ignoramuses shall be the abode of law of the lost, where people committing spiritual suicide will burn and perish for the ways of such such ignorant fools seldom end well. So further understand that this word of love is for the exhortation of his faithful. It's for the rebuke of those who are not and his inspiration for those who need such.